Today, we're going to be using a glue gunner and sniper strategy to see how far late game we can go in Bloons Tower Defense battles. So, let's see if we can win. Well, we have found our first opponent whose name is actually a really cool Pokemon, so that's pretty cool. It's not, oh no, it's absolutely not going to work on this map. There is barely any place to put towers, and I'm not even sure if this strategy is going to work anyway. I'm going to send in the crying, because this map is pretty short, but of course... We're going to pick the sniper, we're going to get the glue gunner, and we're going to get the farm. I, I really don't know if this strategy is going to work, guys. I, I think this is going to go absolutely terribly, but it looks like he's ready. Let's see what we get for our fourth tower. Oh my god, the boat. Actually, that might be an, that's going to be an amazing fourth tower, right? Because we couldn't put anything in the water anyway. So now that we have the boat as well, okay, we're going to put that to work, definitely. But let's go. Unfortunately, there isn't really much space for farms on this map, but I did manage to get a couple of farmers. So hopefully we are going to be collecting all of those bananas and yeah i mean we're gonna have to have a lot of money for the strategy to work and i really don't want to have to start off with the sniper because this thing is absolutely useless early game and honestly the glue gunner i, I don't have much money right now so i can't get any good upgrades on this thing. And okay totodal over there is starting with the super monkey on round one that is, that is definitely an interesting tower to start with and oh no oh no he is already sending us blues okay so what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to get the glue splatter Get the corrosive glue right here. Let's just use a lightning right now. And we really have to get our farms up because as you can see, this strategy early game is going to be absolutely terrible. I'm hoping though late game, this strategy is going to be really, really good because of course we can slow things down up to I think 40% with the glue gunner, even the ZOMGs, the BFBs and the mobs, which is absolutely amazing late game. And of course, the sniper is absolutely amazing late game as well because this thing can stall the ZOMGs and everything else as well. So in theory, this this should be a really good strategy, but yeah, we're just gonna have to get through these early rounds. And man, it is he's not making it easy for us. I mean, he is still he's actually ecoing. I don't think he's brought farms, which means he probably has a very good strategy over there, right? Also, let's just use the fertile soil now so we can make a couple more dollars per every single banana. And yeah, I think we're gonna have to get the glue hose right here because this shoots three times as fast, and it also will stall every single more up he sends at me. Uh, and I'm not gonna upgrade this just yet. I really do need to get that factory, and please, oh my god. If Totodile sends us an all-out rush of round 13, it is going to be so painful to defend, right? I might actually have... Yeah, I think I'm going to have to use the boat to defend. I didn't really want to use the boat until we uh, went late game. I wanted to save it. However, I might have to because, of course, the sniper by itself, if he sends a massive camo regen rainbow rush, like, there is absolutely no way I'm defending that rush with, like, a couple of snipers because they may get it down to, like, red balloons, but then those are just going to regen and regen so much and it's going to be absolutely terrible but anyway we are on round seven and i think we are going to be able to afford our factory right there perfect just before round eight we actually this is a really really good defense right now but of course if there are regen balloons which oh no you can actually send them oh god no please please totodal you're a nice pokemon it please do not send me any regen balloons right now and we are going to get the sniper up really quickly also i think in the update yes they made it easier let's go i can actually put a farm up there i have never been able to do that in my life but i can actually do it now and he's actually gonna send me a rush right here okay all right that's gonna do absolutely nothing because i have this love actually that is getting kind of far oh no okay those are the ai regions we're absolutely fine let's just go straight for another factory let's use another fur so i just got that crate in time also guys thank you so much for all the support recently of course if you aren't subscribed already please subscribe because i am gonna do a lot more videos like this and dude we are so close we're getting so close to half a million subscribers which is an absolutely insane number so let's try and hit two likes on this video like the video right now and of course subscribe so hopefully we can get to half a million this year but anyway we're in round 12 he might actually send me a rush guys he actually might you know what i'm just gonna get the boat right here just in case he decides to go for that rush because i'm scared and also i believe that buffs the attack speed as well and also we can use this ability to get us money as well not that we really need it i don't think he's sending me any rushes right now so i'm just gonna get up a second sniper then we're gonna get up another farm and now we're just gonna send a bunch of pink balloons and we're going to start spamming our snipers very shortly. We don't need that many glue gunners late game. Of course, they're going to be doing their job just slowing everything down on the screen. Normally, I would go for the balloon liquefier because it does so much damage to everything. However, 
I don't think it's going to be doing that much damage to ZOMG's late game. I feel like getting the other glue gunner path that slows the mobs and like down even more, the glue striker. Like I have never got this upgrade before. Like <laughs> this ability, it, I swear it's absolutely useless, but they did buff it. So this glue gunner is actually kind of good late game, especially if I pair it with the sniper. We're just going to be able to stall things so much. Like we may not be able to destroy things that quickly, but the stool alone is it, just going to be absolutely amazing. Like I don't don't know if we have the popping power though i mean we're gonna spam a whole ton of bolts we're gonna spam as many snipers as we can and even then i don't know if it's gonna be enough popping power for all the zmgs and stuff but we're gonna try it and as you can see our eco is at 1700 already and over there i mean totodile is going for the robo monkey which is absolutely fine i'm pretty sure he's been ecoing the entire game so he definitely has a lot of eco over there probably like 5000 or something and he does have the village as one of his towers i'm pretty sure he probably picked the village because he went for the super monkey start he probably has ninja as well maybe and like we'll see what he has for his fourth tower because i don't believe again the village is his fourth tower i really hope he didn't get anything like ice for his fourth tower that would be absolutely terrible for us but I think that's enough eco. As you can see, we already have over $200,000. So now we are just going to start absolutely spamming these snipers. And the good thing about the sniper tower is, as you can see, it is not a fat tower. Some towers are seriously fat, like the Dartling Gun or the Soup Monkey. I, I swear, the Soup Monkey is so fat, you can barely fit it. But with the sniper, as you can see, we are going to be able to fit so many of these snipers. I wouldn't be surprised, even on a map like this, if we could fit literally 100 plus of these amazing snipers. And as you can see, it is going to be really expensive, so I will have to eco further. But look at this. We're getting an absolute army of these snipers right here. And actually, because we're destroying everything so quickly, these rounds are going past really fast. So we're already on round 20, and we're only six minutes in. Okay, we are definitely going to have to spam these towers as fast as we can. And actually, I might, after this round, actually replace these factories with the BIA. Because, of course, that does give us that extra bit of eco every round, which I definitely need and he's actually gone for this village and if you didn't know this village actually gives you like i think it's like 20 percent extra money for every single balloon sent like eco wise so that's actually pretty good for him he's gonna be able to get an absolutely astronomical eco over there like he's probably at like nearly ten thousand right now he has been ecoing non-stop this entire game and he probably has the better towers however I have faith in my snipers and glue gunners that they're going to be absolutely able to outstall him. And as you can see, those balloons, not going to lie, they're getting kind of far right there. And I'm, I'm actually going to sell these right now. I'm just going to go straight for the BIAs right here. I think this is the better play. And also that just disappeared. There we go. Let's get that. Let's not throw it into the trash. There we go. And it does mean we can as well sell these farmers. We don't need you anymore. You did your slave labor job. And we didn't pay you. I, I'm so sorry. We didn't pay you. There we go. We got all of these BIAs going to give us some lovely eco let's sell it as well and let's carry on spamming all of these snipers all over the map because we're gonna need such a big army of these if we want to destroy and stop all of the zmgs and honestly i think we definitely have a chance to win this like this guy totodar over there he has not got any other defense up it's literally just been a robo monkey and a village i mean he has upgraded the village but it's been seven and a half minutes and his defense has literally stayed the exact same also how on earth am i fitting towers up here like i literally i cannot see these towers at all but this is why the cypher is good you can just fit so many so let's continue doing that i will set a lot of them to strong as well i think that is going to be the best targeting for most of them i'm going to set a couple of the other targeting to close as well if we set all of the snipers to strong, they're only going to be focusing on the same ZMG, which is definitely not what we want. We want them to focus on completely different ones, so we actually store all of the balloons on the screen. But let's go upgrading all of these snipers. We have so many already. Like, this is absolutely insane. I'm pretty sure this is going to be the best sniper to get because, of course, it is going to stall everything. We don't really need the money from the other sniper as well. Like, as you can see, we are actually draining our money reserves pretty fast. But, oh, he's actually finally... Totally Totodile is starting to get some defense over there. He's got one temple. And wait, oh no, what sacrifices does he have? I see the ice. No, he has the ice. Okay, that is absolutely terrible. So I believe, yeah, I mean, we know three of his towers, right? He has the village. He has the super monkey. He has the ice. But what else does he have? Please, please don't say Totodile has the ninja as well that would be absolutely terrible he would have the ice tower the ninja 
the super monkeys at the village. Like, is there a strategy better than that? Maybe if he had the sniper or the glue gunner, that would be a better strategy. But he literally, if he has the ninja, he literally has the better, best late game strategy in the game. Like, that is absolutely terrible for us. No. Okay, I'm really scared now because I did not expect that. But anyway, we can collect the 20k from all of our BIAs because as you can see, our money has been severely depleted. We're only at 92,000 right now, but it's all good. Uh, let's get a couple more glue gunners. Actually, let's get one right at the start here so we can glue the ZMGs as soon as they come out. And then actually, I think that's all we need. Like these things have such a good range. Like the only place they couldn't see a ZMG is maybe like over here. But other than that, I think that's absolutely amazing. So we're just going to continue spamming our 100 plus snipers, our sniper army, which is going to be super powerful. And honestly, I mean, Totestar does have amazing uh, towers over there. However, he has not been getting up defense very quickly at all. And we are getting through the rounds really fast. Like one temple is not going to destroy a ZMG. And yes, he does have the stall. Let's see. Let's see very carefully. What towers does he get down? There we go. There is the ice tower. I saw, I didn't actually see him place it down the first time. I just saw that he had the ice sacrifice on his temple, which of course, I don't actually know if that's a good sacrifice of the temple. Oh, he has the bomb tower. Oh no. I mean, that isn't a stall to be fair, but that's still one of the best strategies he could have had because of course the bomb tower i believe that is his fourth tower right that is such a good fourth tower normally it'd be absolutely useless however that means with the temple he has the bomb sacrifice and i'm pretty sure that is one of the best sacrifices for the temple and i am no that is actually really bad guys that is not good at all okay let's carry on spamming all of these sniper upgrades i mean we have so many snipers on the map right now and of course i am going to spam all of the boats as well because of course we have a lot of space that right here and it's actually it might get kind of laggy not gonna lie because i'm gonna have so many aircraft carriers okay we're running out of money that's probably not a good thing but there we go let's collect 20k from all of the banks right there let's carry on getting these upgrades right here here and look at this this map is just going to be a sea of green it's going to be absolutely insane but there we go let's get our first aircraft carrier now these things by themselves they're pretty weak I i'm not sure if they buffed it in the latest update or not but i remember them to be absolutely terrible all they did was just spam so many darts it just lagged the game however I have a good feeling about this. Totodo is getting a lot of temples on his screen right now. As you can see, I mean, he only has three right now, but I'm pretty sure you can fit over 10 temples on this map, which is definitely not going to be good for us. But as you can see, we are absolutely demolishing every single mob that is coming on our screen right now. And I haven't even filled the entire map yet. Like, just look at this defense. It looks so awesome. Again, we are running out of money, as you can see. We are definitely running out of money. But I have a feeling that we're going to get, yeah, we're already at 10 thousand eco every six seconds guys we are getting that amount of money and also we do have these two snipers right here actually i probably should just change these snipers to the other ones yeah i'm actually gonna do that right now because i want every single sniper to be green so there we go let's get those ones right here there we go perfect okay this defense looks absolutely amazing actually just because i want it to look extra awesome let's um sell this let's sell this and let's fill this thing up as well why is he sending no why is he sending me the angry why is he oh no is he gonna go for a rush against me guys please do not go for a rush against me i'm gonna be absolutely terrified if you go for a rush against me because it is not gonna be good actually i'm pretty sure i can fit one more up here as well dude okay there we go let's fit that there i think that looks a bit better and look at the screen right now look how many snipers we have this is absolutely insane we have so many snipers on the screen right now i still don't know if it's gonna be enough but it is so many. Let's carry on filling the screen. I will get boats if he rushes us. But for now, I just want to stay with this because this looks so awesome. And also, I can spam boats really quickly because they're expensive and like they take up quite a bit of space. So it's going to be really easy to spam them. But there we go. Let's carry on spamming these snipers. And of course, yeah, the money is going up so quickly. Look at that. We, are, we already have. We were struggling, right? Now we have over 100k while I've been spamming towers. Now, of course, there are probably a lot of spaces I can find on this map. But for now, I think we've done a really good job. Like, oh, no way. You can actually fit towers here. Look at this. This is why I love the sniper. How on earth can you fit a tower there? Like, that, that is just ridiculous, right? How can you fit one there? And actually, Totodal, I don't think he has a good eco or something. Oh, no way. He's disconnecting. Oh, my God. What? Is he rage quitting? I mean, he sent the angry emo. No way is he rage quitting right there. Okay. It looks like, no, he's getting up another temple. Oh, dude, I was going to say, like, he sent the angry emo. I wouldn't be surprised if he rage quit, but to be honest, like, why would he rage quit, right? He has such a good strategy. That makes no sense. Maybe, actually, guys, 
Oh no, this will be absolutely terrible if it succeeded, but I have a feeling we can lag out our opponent, right? Because if he's disconnecting, oh no. I mean, obviously he has the better strategy. So guys, I think I'm gonna go for it. I think I'm gonna go for the boat spam and oh no, this is gonna get so laggy for him. If he has a bad internet connection already, like just look at this, it's gonna get absolutely insane. Oh no, I mean, you can lag people out with uh, the spike factory, of course, as well, with the spike storm, but let's go, there we go. Let's start getting all of these, no, he's lagging. Look at that, as soon as I got these planes, it started lagging, that can't be a coincidence, guys. That literally can't be a coincidence, and okay, this is actually kind of a problem. Like we need more popping power, guys, for like the balloons and stuff, oh no. Oh no, oh no, I'm actually gonna use this. This is actually a really hard round, actually, I remember, because there are so many mobs on this round. Uh, we're just gonna boost. I didn't want to have to boost, but I need to get all these boats up and actually look how many darts are on the screen right now. That is an insane amount of darts right there. Let's carry on, oh God, oh no. I don't know if this strategy is gonna work, guys, but we're gonna try our best. Let's continue getting all of these boats up and there is the first CMG. And actually, yeah, we're gonna be fine against the CMG because we have all the snipers. And look at my defense right now, this defense looks absolutely insane we have so many boats so many snipers we absolutely destroyed that layer right there okay that was actually insane guys we absolutely obliterated it and look how many boats and darts we have on the screen right now like this is going to get insane wait he is struggling why is he struggling over there that is actually insane he should not be struggling. he has such good towers over there no way okay at least he, well he has really good taste in pokemon because totodile is definitely one of my favorite starters i either went with that uh, or the uh, with the Cyndaquil one in that generation. Both of them are pretty cool though. But let's carry on. Dude, where can I fit this, please? Can I put this down? Thank you very much. Look at our side. This looks absolutely insane right now. We are still going round 45 of strong. And the only thing that actually troubled us, like really, um, was of course that round with the tons of mobs. Like we were not good against the mobs, but like right here, we are doing so good. This is actually insane. Okay, we're gonna set a couple of these to close. In fact, I would say we're doing even better than him. Now, we haven't lagged him out with all the boats, which is kind of surprising to be honest, because it really looked like that would happen. Because I mean, as soon as I got the boats down, his game started getting slow. He is getting more tempos up on his side. Honestly, I don't know how he's not doing better. Maybe he's not like spamming all of the ice abilities and stuff. Because I mean, he has such good towers over there, right? He has temples with multiple sacrifices, which are going to make that temple so strong. But anyway, I don't see any more places I can fit a boat. I probably could have fit one or two more if I was like extremely careful about it. But we did a decent job. There we go. I can't see any more places where I can fit a boat. So I think this is our entire defense right here. I don't think there's anything else I can do. I mean, we're just gonna see how far we can go. Uh, we have actually, it's not the big balloon buster, it's the one that does like maybe two times extra damage, but we have three left, which is really cool with the big balloon buster. I'm pretty sure it's only three. Um, so we do have three uses of this. Uh, so we are gonna be able to, I would say it last about another 10 rounds. And actually I should probably be messing. Now I don't have anything to do with, <clears throat> with all of these snipers, of course. We need to set more of them to close. Close is definitely the best targeting for some of these snipers. Uh, we have a bunch on last as well, and we have someone strong. Most of them are, wait. Oh no, guys, I'm so sorry. Oh no, if I miss a sniper. No, I uh, no, I just misclicked. I misclicked, I misclicked. No, that could actually be really annoying. I was just trying to see if there was a sniper there, no. Okay, well, he's saying oops. Yeah, <laughs> definitely an oops moment. By the way, Totodile, you've been an awesome opponent if you're watching this, so thank you so much. Anyway, we may be able to fit another sniper somewhere. That is so annoying though, guys. I, I did not mean to use that. I definitely 100% did not need to use that boost right there. But what is done is done, and unfortunately, that is wasted. But our defense is still looking really good over there. How many times do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And he's trying to get one eight right there. I'm pretty sure, oh, you can definitely fit one right here. And then another one right here. And probably, yeah, he can probably fit over 10 on this map. He's only got uh, that amount so far though. And oh my God, no way. That ZOG is getting so far in his side. No way. Okay. And also, I really like that he hasn't rushed us. Like this has been a proper late game battle. And I am so surprised that we are alive right now, to be honest, without getting the boat for our fourth tower. Maybe we would have died to those mobs, but 
We did not die. We had the boat. We spammed our ability and we are alive on round 51 right here. And unfortunately, there are a lot of COMGs and stuff right there. But as you can see, the glue, even though the glue only has two, oh my God, 259 pops right there. How long has that glue gonna been, been there? It must have been like 20 rounds plus, but it is doing insane work by slowing everything down. And actually, he still hasn't, I've never seen him use the ice slowdown ability. Maybe he doesn't know it's a thing. Maybe I've missed it. And oh no. Okay, guys, this is actually kind of a problem. These balloons are getting extremely far on my side. Okay, can I use this glue ability? Is No, that's going to do absolutely nothing. Oh, no. Well, I mean, we could rush him. We could rush Totodile right now, but I don't want to just yet. I will rush him on, like, round 54, maybe. Because, I mean, they are getting so far on his side, right? And mine are definitely getting far, but we are doing really, really good against them because we can slow them down so much. And these snipers, man, these snipers are just amazing. They are so, so good. Let's just set a couple more of them to close just to make sure that they are locking on on different targets. Actually, let's put that one on last. Let's put that one on last as well. And actually, I'm going to use another big win beat down right there. And, oh, no, I think, no, I'm just going to go back on my word. I am sending in the ZOMG rush. I am seeing destroy. Are we going to be able to win this? I mean, we might actually be able to win this because he is not slowing everything down. Oh, no, they're getting so far on our side with that. There are so many BFPs. Okay, this is going to come so close, guys. This is going to come so close. No, they're getting to the very end right there. I mean, we may just be able to win this. Oh, I think those ZMGs definitely have a chance. Please, there we go. Big one beat down. Can we destroy these ZMGs on our side? I don't think he's going to be able to defend against this massive rush. Like, this is just so many. And he is not using the ice ability. He needs to use the ice ability. There we go. There is the ice ability, but it might be too late. Okay, long tower boost. No. I don't think that's going to be enough for him. This is going to be so close, guys. This, look how close it is. Oh my God, it's so close on his side. No, and it's lagging so much. Guys, he actually might disconnect. He actually might disconnect because there is so much going on. Like all the darts on my side, the boost on his side as well, and all the balloons. He's using the ice slowdown ability. And sadly, it looks like on round 54, I don't think we're going to get the win. We're going to go down. But this was such a fun strategy, guys. Maybe if I had that other boost that I wasted, we could have survived for longer. But as you can see, look how close. Oh my god. They're getting so close on our side right there. But it looks like we are going to go down. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.